guys and welcome to a little tutorial here with me Punk Gaming and today we're going to go over a few techniques I've learnt using procedural objects. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I've been doing certain things in the series and I thought I'd just create this very quick video just to outline a few little techniques that I have learnt along the way. And the first technique is just a bit of building modification and what I mean by that is we're going to be using the procedural objects mods and we're going to be using the edit mode here which is the one which brings up all of the, the nodes within the actual building itself. Now once you've selected the nodes you want by clicking on them you can always highlight over them to select a number at the same time and then we're using the page down in this example to bring down these top roofs. And the reason I was doing this is in Monaco I needed to put a, um, a decal on top of this to create a sort of hidden building inside a wall. So having the rooftops at the angle they were was not going to work for what I needed. So using this te technique I was able to change the actual look of the building, remove the roof so to speak by dipping it inside itself. And then, well, it's looking very different to how it once was. And you can do this with all parts of the building, moving things around, you could hide certain parts of the building and the possibilities are purely endless. And the only downside is the fact that we don't know what nodes we need to click until we've clicked them. So there will be a bit of trial and error when you're clicking the correct nodes to make sure you're getting the right part to move down and up, etc. But the outcome and results is really, really fun. If you can get this to work really well and do what you need to do, your life is going to be so more exciting in City Skylines. Now I did do a more basic version of this mod to help you get started. This is obviously a lot more aimed towards the advanced user of procedural objects. But to remind you, you use the arrow keys to move the verticals left, right, forward and backwards. Page up and page down to move the verticals up and down. And you can also hold the Alt key to slow down the key action or control to have a continuous movement instead of an incremental, which makes life a lot easier and just helps with the aid of placing parts down. And you'll see once I got this building in position in Monaco, I did have an overlap of some of these walls here, which obviously didn't look too good overcoming the road. And it just is a simple case of selecting the correct node. It takes me two times here to get the first one. Once you found out which one it is, you simply just highlight the area and just lower them down. And normally if you just highlight the area that's on top of the part you want to hide, nine times out of 10, you'll select the right area. And there we go, that's the first part. And I want to show you that because it just enhances the game to another level. And if you've got the time and the patience to use procedure objects, you can make some fascinating results. I really, really do advise you to give it a go. And not only that, but you can really change the look of a building. As you can see here, this is the default opera house from City Skylines. And what I've done, I've just taken the bubble with the roof off and now lowered down the main assembled area. And you can really change the look. I mean, in particular, this part I wanted to use in Monaco, I just wanted to keep the front of the building looking as it did. I didn't want to have the big dome on top. So all I've done was clicked on the um, editor within procedure objects and just found those correct um, nodes and just load it down. And now what we can do is we can even more so make this building look even different. And what we'll do, we're gonna add some plobble asphalt as well on top of the roof uh, and just really change the look of a building by doing something rather simple, really. It's not too difficult to do. And as long as the building isn't too complex, obviously grabbing the nodes on some of the more complex buildings does take a bit of time and does take its toll on you. But if you persevere, you can get some really amazing features. And this is the closest we're gonna to get to having an ability to, to build in game. As far as I'm concerned anyway, there might be something in the future that allows that, but the procedural objects and mods just lets you get that much closer to that degree of level. So hopefully this little video has given you a few ideas and a bit of an insight on how I personally take advantage of this fantastic mod. Give it a go yourself in your next city, see how you can change the look of a building and have fun. It's an amazing mod and I look forward to any questions you have in the comments below. If you liked the video, if it was useful to you, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button as well. But more importantly guys, jump onto the workshop, click the link below for procedure objects and any other mods that you use regularly and hit the like button because these guys do this for free. And it's the best way for us to show our appreciation and gratitude towards the effort and workload these people put in. And on that note, thanks for watching guys and all the best.